Hello everybody, today we've got a quick hypothetical 2024 matchup for you. This time it's going to be Michelle Obama for the Democrats up against Donald Trump for the Republicans. This is another one suggested to me at some point in the comments, so let's dive into this. There's not much more to say about Donald Trump that I haven't said in previous videos. He animates a lot of voters for him and against him. Now Michelle Obama, I kind of view her as more of a third Barack Obama term. I don't know exactly how she would campaign, where she's going to stand on all the modern political issues. She has not held elected office that's something they could ding her a little bit but people do seem to like her they certainly did back when barack was in office she's not in the spotlight as much these days but anytime i see any favorability ratings for her they're usually pretty strong now i think if she actually got out there and campaigned and actually took stances on all the current issues then i think polarization would kick in a lot more than it seems but i still think she would have an advantage now one thing that i am confident in is she would have full complete establishment backing most of the mainstream media they already adore her that would not change if she were running, they would gang up against Trump like they have in the past, and it almost doesn't really matter what any of the issues are or what happens on the campaign. Michelle would get the royal treatment. Trump would not. How much would that affect the race? It's hard to say, but at least a little bit. So having said that, let's zip through these states. We'll talk a little bit more about it at the end. We start in Alaska. That's going to be low double digits. Could even get down to 10, but I still think even with ranked choice voting, it would be safe for Trump. Hawaii, safe for Obama. Back up to the West Coast, Washington, Oregon, California, safe for Obama. Nevada leans for Obama. Idaho, Utah, safe for Trump. Arizona leans for Obama. Montana, Wyoming, safe for Trump. Colorado, safe for Obama. New Mexico likely, possibly could even get up to safe for Obama. North Dakota, South Dakota, safe for Trump. Nebraska at large, safe for Trump. The second district, probably four and a half to five points. We're going to say it leans for Obama, could get up to likely. Kansas, still safe for Trump. Oklahoma, safe for Trump. Let's go down to Texas. I think that will dip down at just under five points, probably about four and a half, leans for Trump. Up to Minnesota now, that's going to be likely for Obama. Iowa will be mid-single digits, five to six points, likely for Trump. Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, safe for Trump. Let's take a look at Wisconsin, that's going to be leans for Obama. Illinois, safe for Obama. Over to Michigan, leans for Obama. Indiana, safe for Trump. Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, safe for Trump. Down in Florida, I have it as leans for Trump, probably four to five points. We go north to Georgia, and that is going to be leans for Obama. South Carolina, safe for Trump. North Carolina, that would narrowly flip and go tilt for Obama. Up to Ohio, again, mid-single digits, likely for Trump. West Virginia, safe for Trump. Up to the corner, Maine at large, likely for Obama. The first district, safe for Obama. The second district, over five points, could be six or seven, likely for Trump. New Hampshire, high single digits, at least eight, could even get to nine or ten, likely for Obama. Now we've got the blue states, Vermont, New York, Massachusetts, it's Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and Washington, D.C. Easy call, safe for Obama. Pennsylvania, now that is going to be leans for Obama. Last state, Virginia, I'm going to say high single digits. I can't even rule out 10 points, but it's going to be likely for Obama. And that is the final total. That comes out to 319 for Michelle Obama, 219 for Donald Trump. So there's not a whole lot more to say about this. I don't see how Trump overcomes his scandals, as well as the negative media coverage combined with the positive media coverage of Obama. Michelle is also going to get some better black turnout in the South. That's going to flip North Carolina. But for the most part, polarization is very strong. She's not going to sweep all these states, but she's going to do about one to three points better across most of these states. I don't think she's going to win Wisconsin by nine or ten points. I don't think she would flip Texas, but you never know about some of these margins. It is hard to picture a scenario where Trump wins this. Maybe Nevada gets down to its hilt, but I don't see Trump doing much better than this. But this is just my impression based on whatever interpretation I have of this matchup. You might emphasize different things. Again, maybe Michelle Obama collapses if she actually tried to run a national campaign, but I think it would just be more of the same, where she's a great establishment candidate, speaks to certain progressive issues to try to get their vote, but in the end would not deliver the goods for them. She'd probably do decent in the suburbs, scare off a lot of independents with Trump, and plus Trump has so much baggage of his own, it's hard to say how much he would overcome it. I think she'd be a decent candidate. This map might make it look like she is strong, but there's a lot of polarization out there, but there are some issues she would have to deal with and navigate around that Trump would be better on and get his base to turn out on. And plus there's debates. Maybe she's not a skillful debater. She does great with favorable media coverage, but if she actually had some intense scrutiny, maybe everything falls apart for her. That's a possibility, and I would change some of these states if it looked like that was going to happen. But given this is so hypothetical, this is how I see it going. So let me know in the comments, do you mostly agree with this map? Or would you change 5, 10? Maybe somehow 25 of these states you would change. Let me know down below. On your way out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next video.